Uh, the Bar Association Board of Governors, on your behalf, as our members, uh, have voted to oppose CACR 26. Uh, and we oppose it for several reasons. Number one, we believe uh, that our position and voting this down would preserve judicial independence and that CACR 26 would threaten it. We believe our position insulates the judicial branch from political pressures uh, from people who are elected to political office every two years. Uh, and we believe that passing this amendment would exert undue, unnecessary, and unconstitutional political pressure on our branch. We also believe that with two-year legislative cycles, we would be potentially subject to significant substantive and procedural rules being changed on a two-year basis, depending on who's in control of the House and the Senate, who the governor may be, and what bills get passed. And what this does is you, you end up with totally unpredictable and inconsistent procedures, which could lead to totally unpredictable and inconsistent results, which none of us like and our clients don't like. Uh, and fourth, it was also our position that constitutional amendments should be a rare thing. I remember back when I was in law school, we used to call it constitutional pollution, uh, that you should only do this in extreme circumstances, um, and that's why it takes a 66% vote to pass one of these things. And we have heard no clear reason from the proponents of this amendment as to why it is necessary. Now, maybe there are problems out there. We recognize it. The judicial branch isn't perfect. Government isn't perfect. But is a constitutional amendment, which basically changes the balance of power in the very administration and operation of the judicial branch and hands it to another branch of government that changes membership every two years, is that the way to go? And we just have not heard any compelling reasons. Now.